A seven-year-old had a face-to-face -face encounter with a black bear, and this incident occurred. One eventful morning, seven-year-old Huxley persuaded his mom to let him take a scooter ride down the street. What initially seemed like a routine outing quickly turned into an intriguing adventure. Huxley, a spirited boy with an unquenchable thirst for adventure, lived in a small town nestled in the western Canadian wilderness. He delighted in the simple joys of childhood, spending his days engaging in imaginary battles inspired by his favorite Pokémon characters, exploring nature, and most of all, riding his cherished scooter. To him, the scooter was more than just a toy. It was his loyal companion on many daring quests. Despite the town's idyllic backdrop, a sense of caution always loomed due to the wildlife, particularly the elusive bears inhabiting the nearby forests. While most townspeople seldom encountered them, their presence was a constant reminder of the wild surroundings. One crisp morning, as the sun peeked over the horizon, Huxley's excitement was palpable. He'd been dreaming of a new scooter route he wanted to try out. Mom, can I go ride my scooter now? Huxley asked, his eyes sparkling with anticipation. Brenda, his mom, multitasking between breakfast and her laptop, glanced at the clock. Huxley, it's too early. The sun has barely come up. Why don't you find something else to do now? But mom, it's the perfect time. The streets are empty and I can go really fast. Huxley pleaded, his voice brimming with eagerness. Brenda sighed, knowing all too well her son's love for his scooter adventures. Huxley, it's not safe to go out this early. What about playing with your Pokemon cards or drawing something? But mom, I played with my cards a lot yesterday and I've drawn almost all the Pokemon. Please, can I go? I'll be super careful, Huxley insisted. Brenda felt torn. She knew Huxley was responsible for his age, but the idea of him being alone made her uneasy. When she saw how determined Huxley was, she agreed. Okay, Huxley, but you must wear all your safety gear, helmet, knee pads, and elbow pads, and stay on the path we agreed on. No going into the woods. Huxley was thrilled. Yeah, mom, I promise. I'll wear all my gear, and I won't go near the woods. And take your phone with you. Call me if you need anything and be back in an hour, okay? Brenda said, sounding worried. Got it, mom. Be back soon. Huxley said excitedly, rushing to get ready. Brenda watched as Huxley put on his safety gear, feeling a bit better. She couldn't help but smile at his excitement, reminding her of the fun of being a kid. Remember, Stay where people can see you and be careful, she called out as Huxley left, his scooter in hand. I will, Mom. Bye. Huxley shouted back, full of energy, as he went outside. As Brenda watched him ride away, she felt a bit worried. She trusted Huxley, but as a mom, she always worried. The wildlife, especially the bears, reminded her of nature's unpredictability. She watched until Huxley turned the corner, then went back to her work hoping for a normal day in their peaceful town. Huxley was having a great time, unaware of his mom's worries. The cool morning air felt refreshing as he rode his scooter down the familiar streets. He imagined himself as a superhero on an exciting adventure, avoiding obstacles and bad guys. Little did he know, his simple ride would turn into an amazing adventure full of surprises and bravery. As Huxley rode, the sun cast long shadows on the quiet streets. He enjoyed the feeling of freedom the breeze in his hair, and the rhythm of his ride. The town was still quiet, and the only sound was his scooter. But as he turned a corner, everything changed suddenly. There, no more than 15 feet in front of him, stood a massive black bear. Huxley's eyes widened in disbelief. The bear, easily towering over six feet when standing on its hind legs, was an imposing figure. Its fur was a deep, glossy black, the muscles beneath rippling with every subtle movement. The bear's claws, visible even from a distance, looked like dangerous curved daggers capable of tearing through anything with ease. Its teeth, glimpsed briefly as the bear sniffed the air, were like rows of ivory daggers. For a moment, time seemed to stand still as Huxley and the bear locked eyes. Huxley's heart pounded in his chest, a surge of fear paralyzing him. He knew he should run, but his legs refused to move. The bear, perhaps curious or simply surprised, began to lumber slowly toward him. At that critical moment, Jake, Huxley's neighbor, having glanced out of his kitchen window, widened his eyes in shock at the scene unfolding before him. Without a second thought, he bolted out of his house, his mind racing with what he could do to save the boy. 
Huxley, back away slowly. Jake shouted as he ran towards them, waving his arms frantically to grab the bear's attention. Huxley, jolted out of his frozen state by Jake's voice, began to inch backwards, his eyes still locked on the bear. The bear paused, its gaze shifting between Huxley and the approaching man. Jake, realizing the need to do something more drastic, grabbed a large rock from the ground and hurled it towards the bear. The rock landed with a thud near the bear, enough to startle it. The bear turned its attention towards Jake, a low growl rumbling in its throat. Keep moving, Huxley. Go home. Jake yelled, keeping his eyes on the bear. Huxley, his survival instincts kicking in, turned and started scooting away as fast as he could, his heart racing with fear. Meanwhile, the commotion had attracted the attention of other neighbors. Doors flew open, and people began pouring out, armed with pots, pans, and anything that could make noise. The clanging and shouting grew into a cacophony, a desperate attempt to scare the bear away. The bear, now confused and agitated by the noise and the crowd, gave one last look at Jake before turning and lumbering away, disappearing into the nearby woods. Jake, panting and shaking, turned to see Huxley scooting away as fast as his legs could carry him. The other neighbors, still clanging their pots and pans, started to gather around. Is the kid okay? One neighbor asked, concern etched on her face. I think so, he's heading home, Jake replied, trying to catch his breath. That was close, too close, another neighbor added, his breath trembling. As the adrenaline began to subside, the reality of what had just happened sank in. They had just faced one of nature's most formidable creatures, and it was a sobering reminder of the wilderness that surrounded their small town. Back at home, Huxley burst through the door, tears streaming down his face, his body trembling with the aftershock of fear. Brenda, hearing the commotion, rushed to her son, her face a mask of worry. Huxley, what happened? Are you okay? She asked, pulling him into a tight embrace. Through his sobs, Huxley recounted the encounter, each word punctuated by a shaking breath. The bear, mom. It was so big, and it came towards me. Jake saved me. Brenda felt really relieved that Huxley was safe. She hugged him tightly, whispering comforting words. The town was also relieved, and they praised Jake for being a hero. That night, as Huxley lay in bed, he couldn't stop thinking about what happened. The bear, Jake's voice, and the noise from the neighbors were played in his mind. For Brenda, the incident reminded her that their town was close to wild areas. She promised herself to be more careful with Huxley's adventures. As life in the town went back to normal, people kept talking about the bear encounter. It became a story of bravery and a reminder of the wild near their homes. For Huxley, it was an unforgettable adventure where his games met real danger. And for everyone, it showed how people could be brave in scary situations. The next day, Brenda was asked to do an interview about what happened. She spoke about her worries and how grateful she was that Huxley was safe. When I first heard about a bear on the loose, I didn't think much of it, Brenda said, her voice calm but emotional. You hear about these things in our town, but you never expect it to affect you directly. It wasn't until Huxley came home, crying, that it hit me. The camera showed a picture of the street where the encounter happened, then returned to Brenda. I'm just so thankful he's okay. It could have ended so differently. My heart goes out to Jake, our neighbor. He's a hero. Next, the camera focused on Huxley, who was unusually composed for his age. The reporter asked, Huxley, what were you thinking when you saw the bear? Huxley looked at the camera and said, I was scared, really scared. But I remembered what my mom always said about staying calm. I guess I just did what I had to do. And how do you feel now about what happened? The reporter asked. I feel lucky, Huxley replied. Lucky that Jake was there and that I got away. It's something I'll never forget. The scene then showed Jake in his front yard. The reporter introduced him as the neighbor who saved Huxley. Jake said, I just did what anyone would do in that situation. I've never seen a child stay as calm as Huxley did. It was impressive how he handled himself. The interview ended with the reporter on the street where the incident occurred. This boy's encounter is a reminder of the wildlife in our town, the reporter said. Huxley's story shows the bravery of a young boy and the quick actions of a neighbor. It's a lesson for all of us to stay aware of our surroundings. Huxley is safe thanks to the community's spirit and awareness.